So we are back with another D&D &D movie time and today we will be finishing the month off with Unchanted! No, Disenchanted. Disenchanted! Spoiler alert, this is the secret to Enchanted. Yep. So what happens in this movie? We don't know, actually. This is yeah. one we actually haven't seen the trailer to. Yeah! So... Yeah, I seen the thumbnail. I think most of the cast returns. Uh, Can you sit down? Oh, yeah. It's very important that you sit down because and close your legs. You're wearing a dress. Yeah, but I have pants on. So. So what? <sighs> no. Stop. So, anyways. Other than this being a sequel to the first movie, we have no idea what this is about. So, I do, like I said, have seen the thumbnail. I know that... I'm just going to guess what's going to happen. I think people are going to come to Cartoon World instead of Cartoon characters coming to the world. I'm, that's just a guess, okay? I don't know. Um, so... I guess we'll just jump right into this movie and find out what happens then. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Bye. in a giant whale. I'm not an evil cat, I'm not an evil cat! 
What is going on? You need to remember your place here. Stop moving, please. Giselle is under a curse. We have to stop this or everything happens. Your wish now, Giselle. Hello? Time to be heroes. You know there's only room for one villain in this town. You're hilarious. <laughs> Delusional, but hilarious. All right, so we just finished. Enchanted. No, disenchanted. Sorry, dis. Said this is a single to enchant. Did it Kai? It's just Kai. Now it gets me confused. Well, thank it's you very called much. Disenchanted. Sorry. And why'd you untie that? Because it was scratching my tummy tongue. Okay. Anyways. So, what was the movie about, Cora? Tell the viewers. So, I, my guess was wrong, but I was kind of worried about Elsa's full visit. And so, this magic of rushes or whatever, it was supposed to be for the baby, but then I think the main character acts to Zelda. Giselda, or Giselle, had accidentally made a terrible wish, even though it might sound like a good wish, which is, I hope Avson acts like a fairy tale. Instead of her being a normal self, she is a evil wish now, and she needs to go to kid. No, well, go? don't tell her how it ends. You let exactly. it go to help. And no, I'm not gonna spoil. Just that song, just gonna spoil. But they and got till midnight to reverse it, or otherwise it's permanent, right? Wait, and please don't say anything else. I said I'm not gonna spoil anything. That means for you too. Because no. hey. Yeah, you know if they want to watch it, you know they'll watch it. Anyways, um, so. We got a good portion of the characters back. I'm kind of shocked that in it show what happened to or have um that one dude come back in. The one from the Harry Potter movies. The one that was like the minion from the last movie. Because, you know, when they find out towards the end that she's going to die because she's from that world. That means he would have died too. Because he was from that world. Who? The minion. The one that became a writer. Yeah. The one that served the evil queen before. And kept trying to give Giselle the poison apple. Yeah, but I think he died. No, he went off and became a famous writer. Well, since maybe he probably went to a different town and he just... And we didn't see him, so yeah, and they, in the way of this movie, I'm um, sure I have him, and I don't to spend a lot of work working on him again. Okay, you could just do on scene. They could have just casted him and had him in like a five second roll of him at some place falling down, starting to disappear. Just saying. That, that just been too lame. Why would that be lame? That would be cool. Nothing it would be a nice little guest appearance from the a, one of the original bad guys. Yeah, but that's just usually five seconds. So? So what? Five seconds isn't seriously that long. But the movie was a tad bit predictable. I kind of had a feeling as soon as uh, the daughter dropped the stepmother line, I had a feeling where the story was going to go. That Giselle was going to be kind of become the classic stepmother villain from fairy tales. Of course. So. Of course, of course. Did you have a favorite character in this one, Cora? Um, that might be surprising, but the little kid was. Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. 
<coughs> Sorry, I forgot her name already. Do I ask questions? Well, of course, you will ask questions, but still. You know, if we ever have, if we ever do merch, I think we're gonna have to put that as your catchphrase. Like, Don't ask questions. I got it from YouTube. Well, then I guess you can't. You should come up with your own catchphrase. Like uh, that one channel we watch, they have the catchphrase of super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> so, uh, did you did you like this one? Uh huh. Because at first it seemed like you weren't really into it. just didn't seem as into it like the previous one but then you started seeming much more into it as it went on so yeah. can you sit proper okay. oh, Jesus. It's like if gonna see my oh, that's what you know what if we ever do merch that's probably gonna be my catchphrase what? can you sit down <laughs> can you sit proper Well, you don't have to think of one right now. You can think Come of on! That's not a catchphrase. It's just a word. No, that's not a catchphrase. Anyways. That's not a catchphrase. Um, did you have a favorite part of the movie? Um, I would probably say... Um... I would probably say when, like, the end. The end? Yeah, not, not the quiz. Not the credits, like, before the end, end. Just like the end, and then right to the end, end. Yeah. Did yeah. the movie, did the movie hit you emotionally? Yeah, kind of. Kind but, of. But also, that kind of gets me confused. At the end, for the end, and the end, end. Yeah. I got so many ends. Well, um. Wait. Again, I was it. You just watched the movie viewers. It was me already dead, but you did it. Well, you. Well, you don't know if they've watched it. Maybe they're watching this review because they want to know what you thought of the end. Yeah, but but they're not even the trailers. Was there a part that you, there aren't trailers, Cor? We just never watched them. I heard it was out. I heard it came out, and I was like, oh. I should watch these with Cora. What? I already seen the first one. I showed you the trailer for the first one. What? And we just never watched the trailer for the second one. But I knew it was out. I knew it was here. So I was like, okay, we'll watch it. Anyways, um, who do you think would have been the better villain? The one lady or Giselle? None. Because... First off, she, I mean, yes, she, like, I, okay, yes, she did have all the bad guy stuff, not to do, like, minions, but, she, seriously, wants to told them at the toes, and, uh, that's most bad guys. Who? And what do you mean she made no sense? Not Jill. I'm talking about the bad guy. The bad messes, I should say. I should say messes. Yeah. Because... Um, be, but on the other hand... I would probably say... Malvina? That's such a weird name for such a real world character, Malvina. Yeah. Like, also I think she... Like... And also she reminded me 
of the bad guy, um, the bad misses in the first enchanted. Yeah. Now I think I'm just gonna like do enchanted one, enchanted two, because that's actually more easier for me to say. But anyways, that one lady was actually um, not from. She's been in other stuff. But the main one, Malvina, um, she was from Lego Movie too. The other one wasn't. So, just the one person was from Lego Movie too, and that was Malvina, the ma other main villain. One like that also cat that that's the the one I seriously hate. Why do you hate Lego Movie 2? Makes no sense. You make no sense sometimes. Everything makes no sense in my life. Not even myself. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, well, we will return right after this quick commercial break. And I guess the second one is okay, very strong. For thousands of years, the world has been protected by the Guardian of Light, or as he is more commonly known, Santa Claus. Over the centuries, factors such as fear and prejudice, greed and jealousy, misunderstandings, betrayal and war have segregated most humans from the magical world of elves, fairies, wizards, and the like. This has resulted in many misconceptions and generalizations of the true nature of Santa and his world. This six-book series by Sean Connaughton begins as the current of a long series of guardians is murdered by a group of monstrous enemies recently escaped from an enchanted South Pole prison. These creatures are loyal to the darkness, an evil force determined to exterminate the light in order to enslave all creatures of the world. Shane Connor, an average young man, suddenly finds himself being trained as the new guardian. As he adapts to his new life among fantastic creatures, he goes on an adventurous quest with a legendary wizard for the ultimate weapon to use against the darkness, and faces murderous enemies like Rasputin, Morgana Le Fay, Krampus, and many more. Along with his best friend, Joe Gomez, Shane encounters politics, history, mysterious murders, new loves, his own hidden past, and racial dynamics among the fantasy races that turn out to be all too real. Their adventures reveal the true nature of the world and challenge the current state of how all races interact. This series expertly melds myths, legends, history, faiths, folklore, and secret societies into a fascinating, cohesive, comprehensive world of wonder and magic. From Atlantis to Olympus, from Hades to the moon, and from broomstick races to Christmas deadlines, join the new Santa Claus on his amazing journey. But beware! Will Shane's quest achieve his ultimate goal of destroying the darkness and preserving the light of the world? Or is he actually playing right into a plot by dark forces that will result in his, and our, ultimate doom? So make your list and check it twice for the Guardian of Light book series. Download your audiobook or ebook today from Audible, Amazon, or iTunes. Hello there. I promise we'll get right back to the video shortly. I just wanted to say that many writers, YouTubers, readers, and gamers often talk about one thing that they all share in common, and that is drinking coffee. And perhaps you're tired of going out and ordering expensive high-end coffees and cappuccinos from huge corporations and are looking for a way to have that same or better coffee brewed right in your own home. So I want to ask that you consider trying Coffee Brand Coffee. You can order from an array of different blends that will be delivered right to your door. And if coffee is not your thing, they also have teas, cocos, and chocolates. Why am I doing this, you may ask? Well. For a long time now, I have been a fan of a channel called The Quartering, which is constantly reporting on the news, and the head of the channel, Jeremy, has worked really hard for his viewers over the time I've watched this channel. He has done so much 
helping out others in smaller channels, working hard to make several videos a day, which I can tell you does take quite a good amount of work. And recently, he started his own coffee company. So if you're willing to try and change to a better coffee, tea, or K-cup because you need that sweet caffeine fix to get you through writing that next novel, reading that next book, playing that new video game long into the late hours of the night, or starting off early in the morning for a long live stream, then head over to the website for Coffee Brand Coffee, or check out the channel The Quartering and see what delicious specials they have going on. Alright, we are back. So, we're going to start with me today. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give Disenchanted probably an 8 out of 10. I don't... I liked it possibly just slightly above the first one. I do have to say they went a little bit more overboard in this one with the singing. Um... And I really do think they kind of went in the general direction that the story could go. So that was interesting. Um, the one problem I had with this is I believe at the end of the first one they said that Giselle um, became a fashion designer. And that wasn't brought up at all in this. Yeah, plus you did and plus, she didn't even, like, maybe she quit it and she didn't want anyone to tell her. Maybe the editors oh, she's act dumb and act like she's not even a dress designer. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember them mentioning that at all. You know? Yeah, I mean, um, I do like the fact of, like I said, even though it's kind of predictable, like, if you once the story gets rolling, you kind of know... Where it's going to go, what it's going to do, what has to be done by what. There are a slight, tiny little twist, but it's all stuff you can foresee coming. It's all foreshadowed pretty heavily. So I guess that's my only major gripe with it. So that's why I give it an 8 out of 10. But I do like it a little bit more than the first one. It actually holds up pretty well. And it's a decent sequel. Well, Cora, guess what? It's your turn. So, sit up. Cora, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give Disenchanted? 89 out of 10. Yes, I have some problems. Like what? Like, when the 1 and the other 1 Stop the clock from striking midnight. Yeah, it's said I mean midnight. Because it doesn't matter what the clock does. But by the fairy tale logic, the chime has to chime the twelfth chime. That clock, that specific clock, has to hit midnight. And that clock never hit midnight because they stopped the gears before the last chime could chime. Okay, so, yeah, and also, and also this movie can't make no sense. Also, I, I do want to add real quick, I know this is your bit, but I do want to add, it would have been nice to see, like, was this just inside their own town, or was this, like, going on across the world? Again, it would have been nice to have little clippets Maybe in the movie of things going on outside of the town. Like somebody could have been driving into the town. Saw people singing and dancing. And then stopped their car and turned around and said nope. So that would have told us everything outside the town is normal. And it was only the town that was affected. 
that would have been a cool little thing to add in. Yeah, but maybe, but maybe have you thought about the one who made it, the movie that they want to move around and just want to do the place and Oh, well, that city. would be lazy. I mean, they got a big budget, a big group of people. It wouldn't have taken long to write two little scenes that would have improved the movie a great deal. Anyways, what else did you like or dislike? Um, also when, like, I, I would have expected, like, since she watched it, if she was a baby too, I thought cartoons could speak baby. And not no. like, and not like the other people in the world, world like me that don't. No. I picture sure you don't, I picture sure my mom does it, I picture sure Nova doesn't speak baby unless you're a baby yourself watching this video. Only, only th time that's ever a thing is if it fits the movie, TV show, or cartoon, so. Yeah. Like Family Guy. And Family Guy, and that's still, I believe, an unanswered question. Does anybody except Brian actually understand Stewie? Or are they just really good at predicting what Stewie has to say? But anyways, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of our D&D Movie Time. We hope you have enjoyed our first month if I'm not mistaken, I believe we are coming up on our 300th episode. Either this is our 300th episode or our next episode is our 300. I think our next episode is going to be our 300. So, oh my God. we'll be hitting 300 as we move into the review of all the Harry Potter movies. So we hope you all have enjoyed this first month and are looking forward to us coming out with the Harry Potter movies next month. We will be taking a slight break halfway through for Valentine's Day where we will be coming out with the movie 10 Things I Hate About You, which I think Cora is going to love. God, and then it will pick up right back off and we'll probably finish off as we move into March and then as I, I've talked about in previous in our if you haven't watched our D&D news video please consider checking that out it's gonna have everything we got planned but I think after that we're moving into the Shrek franchise so yes, sir. exciting stuff coming up remember every time I hit a new set of 10 subscribers I give away a free movie code in our next video so if you want a movie code if in the next video try to help us reach more subscribers so we can get those uh, codes to you guys with all that said I'm just gonna end with thanks for watching